Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about how to reassign the public IP which has been given to a certain virtual machine, how we can assign it to another virtual machine. So let's take a, a quick example. If I go to my resource groups and uh, go to in front SL where we have kept some sample virtual machines. In this scenario, for this demo, I have created two virtual machines at VM01 and at VM02. So the uh, typical example why we wanted to give the public IP to a different virtual machine from one to another. Think about a scenario where you wanted to migrate the uh, applications or the settings to a latest operating system virtual machine. But one important factor is the public IP. So many applications you must have integrated with using public IP even though that's not the uh, best practice where you would be you supposed to be using the DNS names. But let's assume you have done that one and your, you have whitelisted uh, that public IP and then in the uh, proxy servers you must have added that uh, IP address. Or recently I, I faced myself with a problem where uh, one of my customers uh, VM, Azure VM has been infected with ransomware and I tried with restoring the uh, VM with uh, the virtual hard drives from the backup but unfortunately it didn't work so I had to restore the entire virtual machine but the biggest challenge we face is how we can actually transfer the public IP from the old VM to the new VM. So in my scenario I'll go back to this uh, app VM uh, public IP address at VM01. So right now you can see the public IP address and it has been assigned to this particular network NIC and the particular VM. If you really wanted to give the same IP address which has been already created as static in my demo, if you want to give it to the uh, app VM02, first of all you have to release this VM, so uh, release this uh, public IP from the VM. So I can go ahead and say disassociate. It will take a couple of seconds actually to remove that uh, public IP assigned to the uh, app VM01 NIC. So you can see it's already almost happening now. So in a couple of seconds, uh, we should be able to see that um, IP address will be removed from the VM. In the meantime, while it's happening, let me move ahead with the uh, FVM202. So you can see currently the public IP it's having, uh, it's a different one. And if I go back to that uh, public IP address of the FVM02, This is not a static IP address at the moment, it, it is running on a, a dynamic mode. So if I go to configuration, you can see it's dynamic IP address, not static. So let me move back to the uh, public IP address on FVM01 because it has the it has been disassociated from the FVM01 already. Now all, it, all I have to do is go ahead and associate it. It's clearly asking where do you want to associate this public IP address. So I have two options. One is the load balancer or network interfaces. Um, load balancer also very important scenario. Think about if you are running a web server, initially start with one VM, but when your business grows and you are getting many requests to the web VM, you might want to scale it up. So the best option is actually adding more web servers and then come up with a load balancer. But again, the public IP address is very important, retaining the same public IP address. This is one scenario, giving the public IP to the load balancer and behind that one creating multiple uh, web servers. So in my demo, it's all about a network interface. We will go ahead and select the FPM02. You have to make sure that uh, you select the correct VM. Now you can see it's deselected. The reason being is because FVM02 at this stage, it's power on. So while the virtual machine is power on and 
utilizing uh, that particular need, you won't be able to do that one. I wanted to purposely demo that one because in a rush, these are the problems you can come across. So let me go ahead and power down the FVM2. So this process will take a little bit time uh, based on the virtual machine capacity and, the, uh, and everything. So I'll resume once it has been sh uh, shut down completely. Okay, so the virtual machines now it's uh, in the deallocated mode. So let me go ahead quickly to the public IP address of that. Okay, so now the uh, second virtual machine has been shut down. Let's go ahead and try to allocate the public IP for the FVM02. To do that one, let me go to the FVM01 public IP address. Previous, previously, we have disassociated that one, so we are going to associate now with the uh, network card related to the FVM02. And click it OK. And this, this is only going to take a couple of seconds. And as soon as you uh, this task completed, you will be able to see this particular public IP will be associated with virtual machine 01 now, 02, sorry. So let me uh, refresh stuff and then go back to the uh, VM2. And if I go to network addresses, you can see this particular public IP address has been assigned to the VM02. And if I go back to the VM01, you can see that particular public IP address has been removed uh, and has been assigned back to the VM02. So uh, the, as I said earlier, this is a very important part because this is really going to save a lot of time uh, for the system administrators uh, when helping customers to retain the same public IP address which has been allocated to VM and when you wanted to move that uh, VM or maybe we want to upgrade that VM or restore the VM from a public IP and creating a new VM you can still go ahead and apply the same public IP address so I really hope this a small video will, clip will be really helpful for you on your way uh, when you are doing such activity thank you